It's May 1972, and for one weekend only, a tiny village near Wigan becomes the centre of the psychedelic rock and roll universe. It was the most amazing lineup ever in the Northwest, and probably the best festival lineup ever. We had, you know, Grateful Dead, New Riders, Purple Sage, Country Joe, Donovan, The Kinks, Captain Beefheart, Captain Beyond, Wishbone Ash, Hawkwind. What do you think of the festival then? I thought it was, it was everything the festivals are supposed to be. Really. I don't know. There was just a nice atmosphere. You know, a good atmosphere about the place. Everybody seemed to be enjoying themselves. The Bickershaw Festival saw 40,000 music fans descend on these fields for three days of peace, love and a not-so-healthy dose of weather. They were a mess. People came and they went on these fields and the conditions they were in was atrocious. Local lad John Robinson was MC at the Miners Club just around the corner. Were you not tempted to go and have a look at the music yourself? I didn't either because I could hear it. And I'm deaf. <laughs> I'd forgotten just how awful and how brilliant it was. So as you walked, you suddenly either fell down that drainage ditch there, yeah. and then also, if you walked in the dark towards that pond, it wasn't until you started to feel wet up here around your thighs yeah. that you realised you were walking deeper and deeper into the little fisherman's pond there. But despite the rain, the festival was hailed a success, and that's thanks in part to some help from a very unlikely quarter. Making home videos has become one of the most popular leisure activities. And thanks to the... Yes, a very young Jeremy Beadle helped to get Bickershore off the ground. It's only festivals who can bring in big acts. It's only festivals that can stage mammoth happenings like this at such low prices. Today, the festival's 40th anniversary was marked with the release of a special DVD and a mini gig at the site, courtesy of some local bands. A small reminder of the wet weekend in 1972 when Bickershaw was where it was at. Tim Scott, Granada Reports, in Bickershaw. 40 years ago, at the Northwest's first major pop music festival, pitched up in a field near Wigan. It was the Bickershaw Festival back in 1972, and it attracted 60,000 people, and it included performances from huge names, the Grateful Dead, the Kinks and Donovan. Yep, and now footage of the event is to be made available on a DVD, and to celebrate today, some of those who attended the festival were reunited in the field where it all happened all those years ago. Naomi Cornwell was there too. <laughs> It was when Woodstock came to Wigan. Music fans flocked to a field in Bickershaw on top of the bill with a Grateful Dead. This is the second festival we've played in this country, the first one That's being right. the Hollywood Festival uh -huh. two years ago. Right. Now, that was quite a good festival. I mean... Compared to this one, com yeah. Com compared <laughs> to this one. But many of those living near the farm were far from grateful for the invasion of their community, voicing their concerns to one of the organisers, a young Jeremy Beadle. They were drunk. They were drunk. And I object strongly to them using our front as a toilet. Are you going to lay in any special stocks for this pop festival? Did you sell any yoghurt before this? No. Not at all. I've, I've, I've heard of yoghurt, but I've never sold the demand for it. Thank you. In 1972, 60,000 people crowded into this field, and it wasn't just a music event, it was a mud fest. Today, in the same field, many of the organisers and musicians gathered once again to launch a box set of DVDs remembering the best of Bickershaw. It was Woodstock in the mud in the northwest 40 years ago. Jeremy Beadle's mad idea. I remember it being wet, but it was the experience of a lifetime, really. I was only 14, but I really loved it. It was stayed in my memories all that, this time, you know. More than anything, I remember climbing on art scaffolding when it was being built and stuff like that, and then telling us to get off. <laughs> that was it. Now fans can relive their muddy memories from the comfort of their sofas. Naomi Cornwell, BBC Northwest Tonight, near Wigan. Crikey, he was brave, wasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Brought back a few memories, I'm sure. Uh, weather's on the way in a minute.